What's going on everyone? Odie Matthews here and this week we are going to look at the Boundary Supply Prima System 20 to 25 liter pack. Now this is a modular pack. There's a bunch of accessories right here. I'm going to show you here in a second but let's talk about this bag first. This is a roll top bag. It can roll up goes from 25 to 30 liters depending on how much we're willing to pack it out. So before we get into all of what this bag is and some of the accessories that come with it, let's talk about Boundary for a second. They are a blue sign company, which what that means is that all the materials, all the manufacturing, everything they do is eco-friendly for the planet and they go through tests and everything that they've used, all the materials, they all meet a certain standard and that standard is pretty high. To get blue sign certified, it's a pretty difficult thing to do. Um, from what I can tell when I Googled it, do a little more research on Boundary when I first got this. Um, so that's really impressive. Everything they do is awesome and eco-friendly, which is just absolutely incredible in this day and age that a company is that focused on that. That's, that says a lot, it speaks a lot about them. All right, this is a 500D Cadora nylon material. It feels amazing, I love this. Um, this comes in other colors. I personally really like this like brown and black aesthetic. It feels super nice. Don't worry about don't worry about this little thing. That's something I added. That's when I was a sergeant in the Marine Corps. Um, yeah, very nice. Uh, YKK zippers with the weather guard seals. You've got I believe a number eight at the front and a I think six up here at the quick access and maybe another six back here for the laptop sleeve. But it's awesome. Uh, these zipper poles are pretty nice, very minimal. Like I said, this bag just feels great. And another thing that feels great on this bag is the handle. We always talk about the handle because the handle is what you're gonna grab the most. This bag has two handles. This one up top, this little guy on the side. Now, the one up top, it's thick. It feels nice when, keyword when, you get your hand around it. Minimal logo, here's the issue getting your hand around it. This is not a lot of space. You can barely, you have to, you have to really know what you're going for. If you're trying to grab this quick, it's weird. It's hard to do, you gotta adjust. It's not like um, the Water Provoke or even the Boundary Errant Pack or even like a Peak Design Bag. This, this, you have to go for it. When you get it, it's great, it feels great. It's getting it that sucks. And then this little one, little guy, um, just little like seatbelt material type, stitched together really well feels good it's nice um they're both great it's just getting this top one kind of a bummer i had this bag packed out for a trip i actually just recently went on now when it comes to my one bag as minimal as i'm willing to go travel this is my go-to pack i love the wander Proverky provoke pack um but this one for what I, for the minimalist that I do, this is usually my go-to for a number of reasons. Um, one, it's super comfy. Two, it fits everything I need. And three, it'll fit on the seat in front of me, which is a big bonus because I don't like doing the over the head thing if I don't have to, but this is a really good pack for that. Um, this is packed out what I would take for pretty much five days to three weeks to three months to a year if I had to. Um, this is my minimal loadout and I will show you that here in a second. But first, I wanna show you a couple other things. So, with this bag packed out, you also have the load lifting right here, which is awesome, get that weight off of you. There is a hip strap, I have it out right now because I'm gonna show you it, because it has more than just one feature. But this got the, the straps, feel pretty good, foamy. Nice, comfortable, very comfortable bag. This back panel breathes pretty nice. You've got this nice little like upside down T type thing going here. Very comfy, very breathable, nice air channel, nice flow. Um, this bag, like I said, it's packed out pretty decent. I think I still got some space in here if I wanted to grab a couple extra things. I am uh, roughly 5'9", according to my driver's license, but I'm really 5'8", uh, 160, 165 pounds. And this is what it would look like, you know, on this frame. It's like I said, this is this is packed out. This is this is packed out for you know a good amount of stuff. We got some stuff in here. I'll show you. Um, yeah, so packed out, it, it does feel pretty big. And then you've got this awesome sternum strap. This magnetic, amazing. Do you like the sternum strap? Every time I talk about sternum straps, you come up here. Okay. Sternum strap, like I said, you can do this, this whole sternum strap, for the most part, depending on how your trip's going, you can do it one-handed without ever having to take this hand off the strap, or if you don't even want to, sometimes you can 
but you can just get it. Very comfortable, like I said, it's a very comfortable bag, even when it's super packed out. So with that, let's get into the meat and potatoes. These are probably my favorite feature I've ever seen on any bag, ever, and here's why. Quickly get them out. These are kind of like, um, Oakley has a kitchen sink bag that has something similar to this, only this is way better. And what is that? Is that? Is that? Magnets? Yeah, it is, which makes this just super easy to use for everything. I mean, that is just one of the coolest and best features. Also, you've got a minimalist A for their logo. That's their branding, that's the boundary. There's a boundary on the handle. Um, there's one on the shoulder strap as well, but it blends in really nice because it's black on black. So, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, and with that, let's get into this pockets on this thing. You got your quick access right up top. Now, um, because I really don't have a way to show you what's in here. Uh, I'm gonna do it on my phone because. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what's in here. Okay, so for quick access, this is the main part. I have my extra Bluetooth headphones that I carry with me. And then this is the sunglass compartment. This material, excuse my weird angle here. This material is great for putting your sunglasses in. I always put my sunglasses in here. Uh, it's awesome. It's a great place. It's it's magnetic. Uh, these are, like I said, these are from my little thing that I added onto it. Um, so I wouldn't put anything in here for me personally that would scratch it. With that, quick access is awesome. Um, these are the glasses for size. They're an ugly pair. They fit perfectly in there. But one thing to note about this quick access, like most quick accesses, the dimension is tricky to navigate because if you really want to pack this thing out, right, this quick access starts to take some of that. So if you have the quick access packed out, you won't be able to bend, bend it in order to pack it fully out. So keep that in mind with a lot of these because as you can see, it kind of can dip into what the bag does. So with that, you want to be careful with quick access. Then you move over here, you've got this little strap. Now, I don't typically use this for anything. Um, it does have a really nice feature where if you don't want to use it, it will fit in to itself basically and just kind of disappear. Just disappear. Um, that's it because I use this little hook for a portable water bowl. I'll explain that later. And then down here you got your water bottle pocket. Now, I have my Camelback Shoot, greatest water bottle you can get for travel, magnetic lid, clear, Amazon 12 bucks. Put that in right there. It's perfect. It's nice, it's snug. I'm not, I'm not worried about that going anywhere. Here's the thing with this water bottle pocket. Um, bags are doing this a lot now where they have this little secret compartment, whether it be on the side or the back or, or whatever, for your passport. And here's the thing about that. If you put, say, say that was my passport, right? And it fits in there perfectly, fine. You throw your water bottle it'll go over it this is a bad example because of my phone but um it'll still fit in there the problem is, is then if you want to get in that pocket you, you can't you you won't be able to get anything out it's going to be so tight because of the water bottle so this pocket is designed and made for that thing that you don't need really your passport extra cash something that you're not supposed to get into a lot it's not a good quick access because it's not meant to be one so that's that would be why. But the water bottle pocket is amazing, and that's awesome. And honestly, that can be an extra layer of security because you really can't even tell it's there when this isn't packed out. So I do enjoy that a lot. Um, you've got luggage pass-through on the back here. You wanna throw it over your roller luggage. Look, ditch the roller luggage. I'll tell you right now. You'll never see me use a roller luggage. I won't tell you to. I don't like them. Even one of my favorite companies came out with roller luggage. I just don't like it. Don't like roller luggage. Hands-free, baby hands-free, but that's a whole other thing. Anyways, then you move, got this laptop sleeve. Boom, open that up. Boom, big, nice laptop compartment. 15-inch MacBook Pro will. Um, I have a 13-inch, so I don't have to worry about that ever because I'm cheap, but a 15-inch will fit in there. No laptop, or no tablet sleeve. There is no extra tablet sleeve. There is another compartment right in front of it. See this little divider here? Um, you could. We'll put a tablet there. Um, but this brings us to our first accessory. 
So, Boundary has this little guy. And this little guy fits right in there. And then it goes on that little nipple clip. And this is their business organizer. It's got, um, you know, this expandable zipper pockets, pin doodads, opens up. Um, got this back sleeve here. This would be your tablet sleeve, I guess. Um, here's the thing about this. This is great. It's a great idea. I don't use it because I found that when my bag is packed out and I have my laptop, getting this in and out is just not, it's not practical. There's nothing I desperately need on this where I wouldn't already have it out when I get to my destination. I wouldn't need to pull this out and then get things out of it. So, but if you're a business guy, you're going to the cafe, you're going to work, you're going to a meeting, maybe this is what you pull out, boom, you got your notebook, what are we doing today? It's Larry, Larry King, maybe you work for Larry King, I don't know, does Larry King have anybody that works for him? Is Larry King still alive? You should probably Google that. So this was a great idea. I, I applaud Boundary because this is a great product, just not for me, but this comes with the pack. So this might be something you use, and if it is, awesome. It's, it's, it's really good, it's good, it's definitely good. So when I travel, I usually put my laptop here, and I found that this compartment is really good for, <coughs> not dying on camera. This is really good for the MacBook charger because it's that brick, and then I do my, I'm kind of seeing it's hooked up my computer right now, my hard drive, it's not anything fancy, it's a big hard drive. Um, I put those right in there because I'm not gonna use those on the flight. I'm not gonna need those until I get to my destination, so they can just go out of the way, which I like. So, that brings us to uh, the main compartment. Again, big zipper, nice zipper pull, zip it all the way down, and boom, opens like a DeLorean. Not really, because DeLorean's a car. But, this is the inside of the bag. Now, like I said, this is what I would use on a trip, my trips that I take. This is my minimalist load, loadout. Um, I've got my Peak Designs Field Pouch. This thing is amazing. I keep my uh, Sennheiser PXC 550 uh, noise canceling wireless Bluetooth headphones. These are amazing. Check them out on Amazon. Absolutely the best pair of headphones ever. Um, I know I have my other pair of Bluetooth up here. I always carry two pairs of headphones. You never know. Might forget to charge one. Um, one's better for running, one's better for relaxing. So I have options and one was free. So, you know. Maybe someone will give you free headphones. I don't know. Maybe you have two pairs of headphones. Maybe you don't care about headphones. So we'll move on from headphones. And then um, I have my portable charger, which I actually stuck <laughs> a long time ago. I stuck the Boundary V logo sticker they gave me when I bought the pack on it. This is a this is just a charger. Charger missing all the vowels. Uh, it's really good. It'll charge my phone like two or three times, and then I just keep like my Mac, my, my iPhone charger, the power brick and the charger for my headphones. So, Peak Design Fuel Pouch, this thing's awesome. It'll be an accessory video down the road. Then, this is the Boundary Supply Dop Kit. It's, uh, it's the Dop Kit part of their port kit. Their port kit, um, it's another thing that's just like this, only it's uh, the same material, the Kodora, like this bag. It's supposed to be their tech pouch. It's, I don't particularly like it, because when you put them together, they got little nipples, another one has the clips. It's wide, it's big, it doesn't really fit anywhere. Um, I do like this because you can, you know, hang it up if you need to, and, you know, I just have my clear bag of shampoo and body wash, contact solution, and then just a very minimalist toothpaste, mouthwash, deodorant, toothbrush. Um, because if there's anything else you need, I'd rather just get it where I'm going instead of having to carry a ginormous dock kit. I tried that a couple times. It's not fun. I don't like it. Don't want to do it. Then. I've got my uh, Peak Designs Packing Cube. This is hands down the best packing cube on the market. Um, Peak Design just killed it with this packing cube. Um, it's this isn't even compressed down. I haven't. I didn't need to compress it. It's got all kinds of cool stuff. We'll do a, a video on on packing cubes down the road. But this is literally all of my clothes for five days, a couple weeks. Um, because trick is. Well, tip, wherever you're going, you wear your heaviest clothes on the plane, no matter what. If you want to bring boots, wear your boots on the plane. Yeah, it's a pain for security, but it's more of a pain to pack them. Wear your jeans. If you're only going to bring one pair of jeans, wear it on the plane. That way you don't have to pack them. More space. More space for shorts or shirts or whatever else you want. Wear your heaviest thing. Carry your jacket. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt, 
but it'll save you room on packing. If you want to sacrifice your packing space, don't worry about it. But if you don't want to sacrifice your packing space for an extra pair of shoes or a jacket or heavy, heavy clothes, wear them. Sac don't sacrifice your packing space if you can wear them. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. A little trick tip. And then the last thing I always bring with me is my packed shoes. Uh, these are swabs. These are meant to be packable. These are very nice, incredible, wonderful, comfortable, meant to be worn barefoot. You can wash the insoles. I'll put a link to these in the description below because uh, these are the best shoes I've ever had. These are filthy and dirty and worn through because I've worn them everywhere. I love these. I bring them with me everywhere because they're so easy to pack. And then uh, you've got this little flappy dappy thing. I keep my book. My current read is Mortality by the late, great Christopher Hitchens, all about what is it to live, die. Um, he had terminal cancer and he wrote this book while he was on a tour for his other book uh, about what it is to be alive. Great read, great man, check him out. Uh, incredible. Then you could also put papers uh, or whatever else you want back there. Uh, I've seen people put jackets, shoes. And then you've got this zipper compartment on the side. I don't typically use this because the one thing about this bag is the way the material is, the way the bag is laid out. Whatever you put inside, if your bag is lumpy, if your bag is wavy, if you have stuff sticking out, it will show through the bag. It'll it'll form to what you have in it. It's a very form-fitting bag. Um, it's you know it's like skinny jeans. If you put something in your jeans, you're gonna see it. So this that's kind of how this bag is. Um, I didn't really find this to be useful, so I never really used it unless it was something small. And then on the opposite side, you've got a little elastic compartment, and I have to carry with me and I still haven't found a good way to do it, a lint roller. And no, it's not because I'm scared of being dirty, it's because I travel with a dog, my service dog, who came up here and comes up here for all my videos. Uh, he's, he sheds a lot, <laughs> sheds a lot. So I have to bring a lint roller with me, otherwise I'll have dog hair and I'll have an extra sweater I don't need. So travel with a lint roller because I have a dog. But anyway, so yeah, that's the inside of this bag. It's nice. Fits a lot of stuff. Here's a Euro. Um, it's great. It is great for a lot of things. You also have on the bottom, while we're moving down, last straps for yoga mat, for yogis, or an extra tripod, or a blanket roll, whatever, whatever you want, really. Hey, look. Two Euros. Man, I'm rich. You can go right over to Europe. And that is basically the gist of the inside. Um, like I said, you can you can roll this thing up to here, and these will reach. Um, you know, you can you can pack this sucker out a lot. Sacrifice your quick access box, but you totally can. Um, not packed out super heavily, it'll fit this in front, fit under the seat in front of you. Golly, words are difficult. But anyways, moving on to some of the other accessories because this thing comes with a lot. Well, depends on what you mean by a lot. But you got this. Right here, you already know what this is. It's access into the bag, right? Unzip this, boom, access into the bag. It's got an extra compartment on the outside, whatever you wanna put in there. Um, but there's something that goes here. Something that's meant for it, and that is this guy. This is the best and my favorite camera cube that I've had so far. Um, it's amazing. The reason I like this so much is because it's small. It's small, it's compact, it's easy to use, it's quick to fit. I like it, but you probably might be thinking, well, I have a lens that I can look at the craters of the moon and it won't fit in here. Well, the reason why I like this so much is because they give you the option if you want it to be big or small. You can unzip the bottom and play it like a violin, accordion. Violins, that's not the same thing, but it, it'll, it'll pack out and you can fit bigger lenses and that's the whole reason they did it that way. Or if you're like, you know, maybe a minimalist or just a small photographer and you don't want to put a lens to look at Mars, you would leave it like that. And it's got a nice little, its own quick access pocket up top. This is where I put my camera charger. Put it in right there. Um, it works perfectly. And then if you open it, there is flappy dappies up here. Um, this is where I put my extra lenses and then camera and telescopic lens. I actually, I have this one. Uh, it won't see Mars or moon even, but it's the biggest lens I got. And that actually, without being stretched out, fits right there. And the camera I'm recording with would fit right there. Bada bing, bada boom. But this connects to the bag, obviously, because what would be the purpose 
what would be the porpoise of a camera bag if the camera cube didn't do that. So it's not a pain in the butt to put in. Uh, you put it in right here, got snap, snap, and then you open the camera, snap again to this flap, snap again, four point snap, and then now when you open the bag, sling it over your shoulder, snap, snap, put it back, snap, snap, put it back, put it back, don't think snap, snap, put it back, uh, which is awesome. And here's the other thing. I took this bag on a couple trips over in Europe, and what I did is I tested something. How minimalist, not how minimalist, how minimally can I travel while using the camera cube because I want to take pictures, and I didn't want to just use my phone. And the truth is, you can, and here's why. You unzip this bag all the way, and you put your camera in here, there's space at the bottom underneath here. You can fit some stuff, and there's space on the side here. You can fit some stuff, and there's space on top of it right here because this bag kind of forms out a little bit. So if you really wanted to, um, you could pack a small packing cube and the most minimal dop kit you could find. And you could use this like that. You could keep everything if you're staying at a hostel because it's 10 cents a night. You could literally keep this bag on you at all times, which is what I did um, for a couple trips and just have everything you need right here. And it works. Um, and it works really, really well. Or if, let's say, <clears throat> you know, this is gonna be, you don't wanna do that, you don't wanna carry it around, you're gonna get a hotel, but you still don't wanna bring more than just one bag. So you get to your destination, and you're like, man, I don't wanna carry my camera around all day. You can pull this out. And here's the coolest feature about this. This is the waist strap. That was a really weird accent I did not mean to do. This is the waist hip strap for the bag. Um, on the bag itself, down here, there's Velcro. This slides in, boom, hip straps. Or you can pack, you can even stow them. I, that's how I usually run it. I took it out for this. But I usually keep them right here, stowed, unless I need them, the bag is super heavy. But you can rip this out, right? And on this camera cube, I'm gonna make this look as easy as possible. And then, get that out of the way so you can see, you have a fanny pack. You got everything you need right here. And uh, I've never done this. <laughs> I've never walked around like this um, because when I got the pack, I kind of forgot I could do that. And if I had known, I would have done this a lot because this is really all I needed. Because then this quick access pocket, put whatever you want in there. You could put your headphones, your your money, whatever you need. And this can stay on you at all times. And that's really one of the reasons why Boundary is a company that I really support. Um, not just because of the blue sign and the eco-friendly, because this is just a great product. But this is all integrated. This is so thoughtful. And the fact that they were able to think about all this stuff, you know, hey, what can we do to make this camera cube more versatile for the person that wants to use it but doesn't want to carry the bag, but needs this? Perfect, you got everything, this is in your bag, this is on your bag. Take them both off, slap them together, boom, you got another accessory. You're done, you go back, put this back on, slap this back on, boom, you're on the road. And that's why I really like this company. Oh, you need a bigger camera cube? Just unzip the bottom. And Boundary is really thoughtful when it comes to that kind of stuff. I have their errant, uh, errant, errant pack. Um, and it's the same thing. They put so much thought and design and quality and passion into their bags. It's not like those Under Armour bags you see hanging up hundreds of them on the wall or the North Face bags or those big companies that just produce bags to produce bags to make money. While these companies, these indie startup companies, produce bags for the person that needs it, for the person that wants it, for the person for their lifestyle. They make bags for lifestyle. And that's awesome. And Boundary is so good at that. Um, Boundary's not paying me, by the way. If anybody thinks this is like a sponsorship or anything. Um, no, Boundary, I, I don't, none of these bag companies send me these. These are all bags I bought on my own. And I just love them so much, I'm here to talk about them. So Boundary is not sending me money. I'm praising them because they are a good company. They're, they're awesome. And you should check them out and you should support them. These are the kind of companies that, like I said, it feels good to support them because you know it's just it feels good it makes you feel good at the end of the day so with all the accessories 
and things that are in here. This is the Boundary Supply Prima Modular System. I've said it like eight different ways. I'm not 100% sure exactly what it's called, but um, comes in different colors. Like I said, this is an awesome bag. It's a great bag for photography, for travel, for day to day, for commuting. Um, there is a rain fly. I do not have it. It's sold separately, um, but water resistant. It's just well built, man. I can't. I can't say enough. No good things about it. This is a great bag and you should check it out if you're into that kind of stuff. Uh, links in the description below to some of the stuff that I mentioned. If you have any questions about my loadouts or any of the equipment or things that you saw, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll send you a link or answer any questions I have. If there's anything that I you saw and I didn't really go into depth and you want to know about, let me know. Um, check it out. Check out Boundary and I'll see you guys next time.